hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Shout out to every one of y'all. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Every single one of y'all, because without y'all, there is no us. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of y'all. But uh, let's get to the let's get to the word of the day. The chase, what's happening out here? Battle rap. Uh, today is OSBL versus Gates of the Garden. Card is available on Rap Grid. Shout out to Frank White. There's some battles on there I'm definitely interested in seeing, especially that Kid Slade versus Ace on me. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's the word with that? Huh? I ain't heard, really heard much from Ace in a second, and you know, Kid Slade does his thing. So that's gonna be interesting to see. And there's some more battles on the card that I will be peeping and um, checking out. Um, shout out to Mav Hoffa. Today's Mav Hoffa's birthday. Um, look what Brooklyn do. Uh, I had jumped in his comments earlier. He said, we got to talk. You know, looking at me? LOL, and I laughed. I said, yeah, we definitely, we can always talk. Uh, shout out to him in his career, you know what I'm saying? Well, I got Fox, you want to come through, you know what I'm saying? Math, the door is always open. Uh, I knew he would see my blog, though, you know what I'm saying? There was a lot of people who did respond to the joint with the, um, how the beef with Sue Surf ended Matt Hoffa's battle rap career. I did. I felt like, um, with all things considered, I did cover a lot of what happened, and then I did get a lot of responses and a lot of people that I spoke to. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers were seeing what I was saying, etc., etc. But I rock with Matt. You know what I'm saying? But there is two sides of the spectrum, and that was just mine. You know what I mean? He's doing great now. Obviously, he's got his uh, my expert opinion, heading towards a million subscribers, and it's good to see him continue to head that direction. But Math is math. Uh, did good views too, man. Fifteen something thousand people watched that blog. So I mean, uh, you, you still when your name is brought up, <laughs> motherfuckers will check it out, man. But um, shout out to him. It's his birthday. Let's keep it moving. Um, Jazz versus Coffee Brown got announced for Noom. That Noom card is looking pretty good, man. When I bring it up, let me let me let me let me um pull the card up right quick. But that Jazz versus Coffee is definitely a dope matchup. So so far you got. Rum Nitty versus Loaded Love, Gigi Gotti versus Fonz, T Top versus Danny Myers, Tay Rock versus Jerry West, Swamp versus Miss Hustle, and Jazz the Rapper versus Coffee Brown. I would say Jazz the Rapper versus Coffee Brown is probably the co main event of Gnome. Congratulations, ladies, first and foremost. Um, I have I did interview Jazz on Fox. Coffee's my people. I spoke to Coffee a couple weeks ago when I seen her in Miami. I know this is a battle that she wanted for some time because. Coffee has been having a dope run, you know what I'm saying? She's been doing her thing, winning a lot of battles. She just won the other week versus Jade, and now she's showing up to battle Jazz the Rapper. Jazz the Rapper's had Jazz the Rapper's run. What what do I really even need to say to encapsulate the impact that she's had on battle rap? Not just as a culture, but just as a female MC, you know what I'm saying? She's been around for quite some time. She's had a number of battles, you know what I'm saying? And she's quite obviously one of the, the leaders in female battle rap. Um, that's gonna be a tough battle for Jazz. Coffee punches at a high rate, but Jazz is very technical. She uses angles very well. She's a URL favorite. She knows how to grab the crowd. Uh, she's gonna be able to do, use different flows. Cause the thing about Coffee, Coffee's a heavy puncher. Um, she gets to it. The Jazz is more of a, a, of a breakfast lunch and dinner type of MC. She can heat up in the first round, she can serve it at dinner, or she can work in the middle, in the second round too. Coffee could heat up. Ah, the best part of waking up. Coffee could heat up. And when she heats up, she, st she can start dropping haymakers and bombs. This is gonna be a really good matchup. This might be one of the best matchups on Noon because I know Coffee wanted this battle for a while. And Coffee needs a battle like this in order to encapsulate her year and to kind of chisel herself in the super super because I feel like she's a top tier MC but in order to solidify yourself in that top 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 shelf of female MC's this is the road you're gonna have to go down and these are the type of MC's that you're gonna have to face and a female like Jazz the Rapper a win like that first of all a win versus Jazz the Rapper you out of here you know what I'm saying like I'm just letting you know that right now anybody in the comments can jump in here and let you know 
that's a huge battle to have and it's a huge battle that you could potentially that you got to take serious um i don't see coffee taking a bunch of battles like the week before the day before and all that other shit so she should be all right and another battle that got announced you know swamp versus miss hustle you know what i'm saying um swamp is basically being rewarded in a sense for uh his mission on a verb to go down there uh to miami come back with the win by any means necessary uh, you know, I know Verb, shout out to him and everything he's got going on. He'll act oblivious and do the time thing, the time, time, time. Oh, he rapped over the time. Nigga, you knew what was going to happen before the nigga showed up. <laughs> Did you think he was coming to... <laughs> you thought he was coming to play with too many rounds? I know better. I know better. We all knew that. Everybody knew that. We all spoke about the shit before the battle happened. And then when you look at the times and shit, I mean, come on. It is what it is. But uh, they're rewarding him by putting him on Gnome. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's a good look for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Miss Hustle do what she do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not going to really elaborate on, on, on the battle or whatever the case may be. May the best man win. But I feel like, you know, good look for Swamp. Uh, Tay Rock versus Jerry West. It's good to see Jerry West getting his look. Rock battles every week. Like, he, I think he's got like four battles before. This is... This nigga got like four... <laughs> he got the Yogi nigga from um, Bag and Bodies. He got J2, he got Cali Smooth, and he got this battle. I mean, rock battle every week. Like when you check in for unemployment, you gotta do your little uh, work verification shit. He he just uh, he just fucking he, that's his battle every week. He just take another person. So um, him versus J West should be a, be a good battle. Uh, Geechee versus Fonz. Geechee's normally in bigger named battles, but I like it for Fonz because Fonz been on URL for quite some time, so he definitely deserves. That look versus a Geechee Gotti. Fonz is very hungry and he punches at a high rate too. So, but Geechee Gotti does everything well. You know what I'm saying? He can punch, he can rebuttal. You know what I'm saying? He can uh, real talk you to death. He's a crowd favorite. He's got believability and he can mark it in promo too. He's got the No Studio and shout out to No Studio. So uh, that's gonna be a really really tough battle for Fonz. If Geechee takes it serious, like. 100% serious, not a battle before, the week after, and then he's hosting an event two weeks from then, it could potentially be a classic. But if Geechee takes it anything but super serious, Fonz might uh might be able to show the world something. Uh, they got Danny versus T-Top on there. I'm very happy for Danny Myers. T-Top been on a heater recently, though. His battle versus Chef Trez was fucking insane. Uh, he went, then he went to London and he battled over there, and now he's battling Danny Myers. Danny Myers is, you know, somebody that we I like to see get to these type of cards i do remember he was on a card was it a gnome i don't know what it was he battled none none i didn't like the battle and then he had another one uh was it av i don't know it was a couple battles that he had when he got to bigger cards that i really did not like i don't know if it was material wise setting stage but i'm hearing this is going to be in orlando you know a little url factory shit where they be doing the app battles and all of that so if it's there then you know what i mean it'll be more of a smaller room and he could kind of like Wiggle and get in the pockets. If it's on any kind of stage, you know, T-Top is good. <laughs> Put your money on the parlay on the bear. If it's on any kind of stage, if it's going to be more than 100 niggas there, I'm going with the bear. Um, but Danny's money. Loaded Lux versus Rum Nitty. We all know that. Everybody's looking forward to see how that go. You know what I'm saying? Rum Nitty um, has been kind of quiet, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't really expect a lot of talking and all that shit from Rum Nitty, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's, he knows what he got going up. He got loaded Lux in two weeks. Ain't really much to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Lux did show up. Uh, he did the he did Fox with us. He did overtime, you know what I'm saying? So he has been talking. He has been out there. He's been vocal. And this is definitely going to be another dope battle, you know what I'm saying? So Gnome overall, it's a pretty good card. Is it great? It's not great. It's pretty good, you know what I'm saying? I go seven and a half. Half off for eye test eight maybe eight yeah maybe eight yeah uh, it's, 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 it, it, it's missing some real big star power but the real I understand let me give y'all this right the real real big big super names the murder mooks and uh, all of the niggas the hitmans and the niggas that y'all want to see on these gnomes is probably not gonna be on them anymore because the money is just not there you can't book three niggas that cost fifty thousand dollars a piece anymore. Because when caffeine comes in, caffeine is just blowing the buddies, spending money, spending money, spending money. Niggas get used to that. If I'm battling for 50,000 or 30,000 or 20,000, 15,000 with caffeine, we run a whole year or two thing. When you caffeine leave, I don't not want 15 anymore. 
And I be hearing that be an issue, not with just URL, but with a lot of leagues. Like once an artist gets to a certain plateau, that's why leagues don't like when other leagues overpay niggas. Because when you overpay them, when they come back home, they be looking at you like, yo, I got 35,000 to go over there. You want to give me 7,500? I'm telling you, it's a lot that goes on in that type of shit. And you hear it, you know what I'm saying? And I just uh, keep it moving accordingly. Um, I've been seeing what's been going on in the news recently with the whole Diddy shit. I'm going to say it like this, you know what I'm saying? As a father, you know, having daughters and shit like that, raising girls. This whole shit is wild. And the, the wild thing about it is a lot of us knew. Mad people knew what was going on. I mean, like, we, we heard it, you know what I'm saying? We would hear shit, everybody would see it. And then once the feds raided Diddy shit, <coughs> I kind of knew it was over. And then once that video came out, see, his son, Diddy dumbass son, went and dissed the feds in that diss track, that hot dog water track, that shit wasn't good. He went and dissed them. And the feds was like, uh-uh, we gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' blow the lid off this shit, man. And uh, I see that the, the the LAPD said it was past the statute of limitation and shit, so they can't press charges. But the court of public opinions is always open. It is always open. So he gon' he gon' definitely uh gonna have to feel the regards for what happened because at the end of the day. Ain't no coming back from that. The nigga did he was stomping Cassie like he was trying to put a fire out. Ain't no damn way he gonna be able to come back and say anything. And none of his apologists will either, you know what I'm saying? I think it's foul, I think it's crazy, and I think that to see that, you know what I mean, it, it, it encapsulates it even more because you gotta remember even like what happened with Ray Rice. With the Ray Rice situation, it ain't get crazy until that video came out. Once that video came out, it's over. Once we see it, we believe it, you know what I'm saying? And I do believe it, I believe Diddy, has something to do with Kim Porter. I believe it has something to do with Big, all that. You know what I'm saying? This shit is wild. But uh, shout out to every single one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mav Hoffa. Jazz and Coffee. I think that's a pretty dope battle, man. And OSBL versus Gate to the Garden is definitely going down today. I will be checking that out. Shout out to every single one of y'all. You know what the fuck going on? 